and welcome back to the channel so it has been a couple of weeks um i think since i last posted or or did a, a live stream i've got something on my little map there um and i have a few haul videos and i say a few because i kind of wanted to do them separately so this haul video is from when i went on a day trip to the buckingham palace tour which was awesome um very very eye-opening um so from buckingham palace i bought a couple of um little souvenirs that i was going to show you and then we also went into cassart which was just behind i think there's about three stores in london actually cassart stores um, the one that we went in was just behind the National Art Gallery, I want to say, in Trafalgar Square. So if you know Trafalgar Square, you've got the National Art Gallery at the top of the steps. If you take the road around the back of that, there's a Cass Art Store just there. So I will show you what I got. I think I've still got... No, I don't have Steve Sings in here, so he will do his own separate haul. So firstly, we have our little Buckingham Palace bag, which is quite fancy schmancy. <laughs> I kept the bag purposefully. Um, so here are our tickets. These were our passes to the tour. And my thoughts before going to this were that it would be um, a tour guide kind of thing you know you would go into every room the tour guide would tell you about that room etc etc but it wasn't and we didn't go around as our coach group which I also thought we would um, so what actually happened is the coach dropped us off behind Buckingham Palace um, myself Steve and our two friends went for coffee and then we made our way towards Buckingham Palace they have behind the the main entrance so not down the mall but if you go behind it they have entrances there to the tour they have like three separate gates a b and c i think it was and we went in gate a presented them with our tickets and you go into the palace you pick up a headset and a tiny little tablet thing like an ipod you know the old ipod things and uh, basically as you go into each room you just press the introduction to that room and then on each room there's some points of interest so like a table or the the ceilings for example um, and it just told you all the information about that um, we got to see king charles and queen camilla's robes they are beautiful um it was just a really really good experience so very pleased to have done that hi miss lynn she's just messaged me <laughs> um also with the tickets if you wanted to go back again your ticket can actually be traded in for readmission for a whole year so you can go back as many times as you want to but we didn't think that we would go back within a year and if you traded these in hello lynn again <laughs> um if you traded these in for the one year pass you'd lose your tickets and i kind of wanted to keep these as a souvenir <laughs> more than trading them in for a one year pass so we decided to do that so we only got literally a couple of little tiny souvenirs um, to remember the day. So we have our receipt as well, which I kept because I thought it was fancy schmancy. I won't share the details, obviously. But bear in mind that the things that we got were tiny because of the price as well. Um, a dog bowl was £75, so if you're in dollars, that's like $130 or something. Um, 
and a side plate you know like what you put your bread on or what have you that was 60 pounds <laughs> so yeah so wherever we go on a trip myself and steve we always pick up a fridge magnet so we're getting quite a collection of these not sure if i will put this one on my fridge or whether i will just leave it in its packaging but this was 395 so it's just the front of buckingham palace there so there's that and then by the till they also had these collector's coins now before my dad passed away me and him used to collect coins together i'm going to zoom this in a bit we we collect coins together so he's got lots of different albums like one for two pounds 50 p's etc and i kind of wanted this to put with his collection i haven't opened it i'm going to keep it sealed um this was four pound 95 but it has all of the crests on the back there um so you have obviously the the english crest then you have the scottish the Irish and the Welsh I believe it was um, but yeah so I got this to add to my collection um, of my dad's coins um, my when my dad passed my mum gave us you know free reign of anything that we wanted to remember my dad by um, everything is has stayed with her that we didn't want um, my brother has inherited my dad's car, which he's paying for. Um, and I just wanted my dad's coin collection because that was the only hobby that we ever did together um, as father and daughter. We weren't sort of the closest father and daughter for various reasons I won't go into. Those of you that are close enough to me know why. But yeah, I just wanted to keep that because it was something that we actually did together and I really enjoyed it. Right, so that doesn't belong in here. I'm now going to go through the goodies that I got from Cass Art. So I'm going to pop them to the side first because there are some nice goodies here. Um, in this bag, I've also got a haul. <laughs> of goodies that Dee sent to me. So I'm gonna do a happy mail haul for that. So from Castle Art, I got this bag. <laughs> it's a, a tote bag. It, we actually got it free because we spent X amount of money, I think. And we could have a pink one or a cobalt blue one. So hubby got cobalt blue, which I'm good with. I'm not a pink girl. Uh, I'm a blue girl so I'm just going to pause the video for one second while I empty some things out it will save time <laughs> okay I found everything I think I didn't get too much in Casa. um Steve splurged more than myself um and um, we've just come back from our holiday in Norfolk and I found an art shop there um in a garden centre actually um called paper story so i will try and link them down below they are on instagram as well lovely couple that work in there um i told them to pick up their shop and move it over to swindon um but yeah so anyway the the goodies that i got in cast art so firstly i have a few open stock goodies so I bought four Tombow ABT dual brush, I think they're called markers. I'm, I'm new to the, these things. Um, obviously, I've seen a lot of people use them. So these are water-based markers that I want to use in my journal. And I think I have actually used one of these already. I think I had a play before we went away on holiday. In my YouTube journal so did I have a play or did I not it might have been this this blue and purple here I think 
so but don't quote me on that so the colors that i picked up are 133 it doesn't actually say the name on there but it does on the seat so we have chartreuse green which is this one kind of annoying it doesn't say the name on them so chartreuse green i will print a swatch chart out for these anyway then we have mint green which is 243 we have um carnation red which is 761 and 451 which is sky blue so let's get a scrap piece of paper and show you in fact i'll use the back of your seat to show you what these look like so you have a brush end one end i'm sure you guys know what these are like but if not then you have a fine bullet tip the other end is our sky blue then we have our red carnation I went for sort of pastel -y shades um, that went with the if you saw in my last haul video all the goodies I got from Timu um, I tried to pick colours that went with those stickers and that because these are going to be for my YouTube journal so that was the mint green and then we have the chartreuse green i just love that color such a nice yellow green so those are the colors that i picked up of those and then i also got a new copic to add to my collection not knowing that steve actually bought a set of Copics to give to me and this one is actually in there along with another one that I already have but it's all good because I'll have duplicates so this is R00 which is pinkish white I'm trying to collect some of the skin tones of these you can't really see that on that part let's put it over here obviously these are alcohol markers so doesn't really show up on this paper. Um, do I have a piece of scrap nearby? That is the question. Okay, I do. It's not scrap, but it's going to be scrap. <laughs> so, this is the Copic. I'll leave that there to dry a minute. But yeah, I'll leave that to dry for a second. So yeah, the Copics that Steve decided to buy for me are the skin tone set. So you also get um, a fine line or something in here, a 0.3 I think it is. Um, yes, 0.3 mm, uh, millimetre so these it says 19 pound 50 but actually the copics were half price but it was half the retail price so this is half of this the 28 whatever it is um which was kind of misleading in a way because it just said half marked price like half marked the price the sticker that was on it and it wasn't entirely true because it was half mark the recommended retail price and i really hate when companies do that because it's misleading but we we because we thought they were half mark price we were going to get two sets obviously um but when we figured out that they weren't we popped the other set back and we just got this set question is can i actually get into it so I think she ended up giving it, giving us the markers for 
the price that it said on the website which was a couple of pounds cheaper to give us a little bit more of a discount because it was misleading um okay whatever so the colors in here i'm quite happy i've got one of these fine liners actually because i can use that in my journal so let's bring our piece of paper back look how pretty and delicate that color is it's so nice so that is the r00 which as i said there's another one in this set so i have two of those the other one that I'll have a duplicate of is the E00, which um, I think I either bought or one of my lovely friends and viewers gifted to me. So I will swatch these and then show you what they look like when they're dry. So that one is called Cotton Pearl. Then we have v91 which is pale grape oh that is a pretty color i like pretty pretty okay then we have e43 which is dull ivory i'm gonna have to print the uh copic hex chart out to keep track of what ones I've got and then we have R20 which is blush so really pretty colours and then this is a pigment ink water and copic proof multi-liner 0.3 wow how thin is that <laughs> how thin is that Hello. <laughs> white's nice though So yeah, that's really nice. I'm glad to have that. So there are our colours drying. Really nice, really pretty colours. So yeah, Steve got those. Um, I thought he'd bought them for himself. And I was just like, oh, I get to swatch those for him kind of thing. Because <laughs> I get pleasure out of doing that. But alas, he gifted them to me, bless him. So the other thing that I bought, which you guys know I have been after for a while now, is a starter set of the Albrecht Dura. So I'm going to grab my little knife if it's nearby. I thought as much. <laughs> it was in my little journaling basket because I use it for my uh, washi stickers and what have you. So yeah, this is the 24 set of Albrecht Dura watercolour pencils and these set me back $29.95 I do believe they were possibly a little bit cheaper on Amazon but when I'm you know I, I love Amazon there's no denying that but if I'm in like an art store I want to support that independent business I mean, Cass Arts are probably a chain. In fact, I think it is a chain, but I want to support, like, proper shops from disappearing. So, let's have a look at these. I'm so excited to, to use these in my books. So, here is our 24 pencils really doesn't look many does it when you <laughs> when you have them on one layer uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 16, 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 24 so we have a little booklet here 
in all different languages, I'm assuming, telling you about them. You also have your colour chart at the back, so you can tick off which ones you have when you get them. That might be a good reference for me to keep in my handbag, actually, because, as I said, we just got back from a holiday in Norfolk and I collected some open stock ones to go with these. So luckily, when I was in the shop in Norfolk, they had the 24 tin, and on the back, it tells you what ones they have, so I used that as a reference, so I didn't duplicate. Okay. So, I'm excited to try these. This is raw umber. I'm gonna grab my pencil sharpener, because as with all new pencils, I don't like to swatch them before I've sharpened them they have that protective coating on this is just um sort of print paper but it's it's 120 gsm so let's see how pigmented these are i've only done a, a sort of a light swatch let's get the water brush pen working Ooh, they activate really nicely obviously I need a better quality paper for these to work on but that activated really quickly and was really vibrant mm, that's the wrong colour I meant to pick up the same one I just had Just fade that colour out a bit and see what happens. And go light to dark. Obviously, again, it's really cheapo paper, so. Ooh, I like those. I like that a lot. Let's try another colour. Let's try this gorgeous plum colour. Um, this is magenta so obviously i do have most of the polychromos and the names and numbers are obviously the same as the polys which will make it helpful when i'm using them it made it helpful when i was uh, picking open stock as well because i grabbed some of my favorites like earth green yellowish may green etc that I use a lot. Okay, they're, they're nice. I like, we're gonna get on well. <laughs> Me and these pencils are gonna get on just great. Wow. Okay, well, I'm impressed by those. Again, just cartridge paper, but nice and pigmented looking forward to using those let's pop that back in there so that is my little haul from buckingham palace and cass art in london some lovely new goodies to play with and a couple of little mementos from buckingham palace <laughs> So thank you so much for watching. If you managed to make it to the end of the video, please leave a crown emoji because, you know, Buckingham Palace. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and take care. Happy colouring, everyone. Bye-bye.